Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. Are you tired? Are you stressed out? Listen to this particular message for the refreshing of your spirit. Stay blessed. I remember we're wrapping up. I'm about to pray for someone. When the Lord gave me an instruction to move to Abuja, I struggled with the Lord for years because I said, Lord, I'm not sure that I'm ready for this. I understood the economic implication. I understood the sociological implication. But I could not deny that I heard him. And I got there and I said, Lord, where do I start for God's sake? How do you get a place? And how do you now begin to bring people? But I knew that there was a mystery in the Bible that can birth glory when you understand the conditions. And I remember I stayed in prayer. Days turned to weeks, weeks turned to months. Master, you are the one who sent me. This city belongs to you. Would you speak? I remember one time the Lord asked me to go and buy to get the map of Abuja the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, and the map of the globe. This was the instruction. No venue, no nothing. I didn't even know what date we were going to start. And in my foolishness, that was how I placed it and I was praying every day. I'm sharing this with you not for pride. I hope you understand. To encourage you and show you that behind everything that works is this same principle. And all of a sudden, as I began to pray, one day something happened. I suddenly looked at the map of Abuja and the city became small. Very small. It was like, as if I was looking from the lens of someone and I was just seeing six local governments. And it was a city that was small. Very small. You know the spirit of faith that came upon Caleb? Let us go up at once. That was what happened to me. And I said, there is nothing that God cannot do. And the rest, I leave it to God. It is history. To God be the glory. For those of you who follow us, we are preparing now for a UK conference. And that is a miracle I was discussing briefly with Pastor. The auditoriums and all these places you see that, that is used. The, the bill for those auditoriums can build estates in Nigeria. Without exaggeration. You see. And God gave instructions. Staying with him. Lord, what is the secret? This is your mandate. Within about 24 hours of opening doors for volunteers. We, have about, we had about 2,700 workers. Station waiting. Workers, not people attending. When we open the doors for registration, it's almost it's the, the registration is almost over now. And this is a meeting in May. Listen, I don't say this to boast. I'm only telling you that behind the supposed supernatural manifestation of men is the childlike ability to stay until the master comes with a word hallelujah you can imagine i cannot begin to share with you the miracles and the manifold blessings and the hand of god what he's done incredible manifestations of his power i want to pray for someone there are two prayers that we're going to pray tonight as we wrap up this session. Number one is an encouragement for someone. Listen to me. You have camped around your situation attracting sympathy for too long. Remaining there and hoping people will keep sympathizing while I sympathize with your pain. But it's time for that the dry bones that you've been hovering around to become an exceeding great army. For sake of time, please can you give us verse 10. Ezekiel 37, 10. He prophesies one more time and breath comes upon the people. He says, and they lived 
and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army one's dry bones now an exceeding great army and the revelation behind it is in verse 11 and 12 you may want to quickly look at it son of man these bones represent the whole house of israel they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost we are cut off for our parts now prophesy to them that thus saith the lord god behold O my people he said i will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your grave is that in your bible it says and i will bring you into the land of israel so just lamenting over your financial situation or the barrenness situation respectfully speaking or the ministry situation may not do you much it's time to take responsibility to say lord i am done acknowledging this current situation it's time to partner with the word of god it's time to partner with the ministry of the holy Holy Spirit in prayer and begin to stimulate the conversion that bets glory and the secret is found in Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 it says this is what the Lord commanded Moses that you should do then the glory of the Lord shall appear to you there is always what God commands that you should do and when you do it the glory of the Lord shall appear please rise up on your feet This is the victory that overcometh the world, the Bible says, even our faith. The God of all possibilities, as mighty as he is, depends on the faith of men to manifest his power. Some of you, you have been limiting the God of heaven through unbelief. You have been limiting the God of heaven by not staying with the spirit to obtain strategy that makes for your victory. I repeat to you one last time that vain is the help of man. You can struggle and move from pillar to post only to eat the bread of sorrow. But some of you may need to mark time on the pursuit. I know you've submitted your CVs and jobs are not coming. Minimize running up and down. You have tried. Stay with him. There is value when you stay with him until his word comes. Can we pray? One prayer that I want you to pray from the depth of your heart is grant me the grace to believe in you grant me the grace to believe in you oh god someone open your mouth and pray grant me the grace to believe in you grant me the grace to believe in you i shake away unbelief i shake away unbelief in the name of jesus grant me the grace to believe in you walk upon my faith walk upon my conviction grant me the grace to believe in you that you are able someone pray for one minute grant me the grace to believe for my family to believe for my finances to believe for the work you have put in my hands grant me the grace to believe hallelujah one time the disciples could not cast out a demon spirit from an epileptic patient frustrated they came to Jesus and he said, why could we not cast this out? He said, because of your unbelief. You have not trained your capacity to believe God to rise. Listen, there are different levels of faith taught in the Bible. There is no faith. There is little or small faith. Is that true? There is great faith. There is exceeding great faith. These are various levels. And all of those levels command different dimensions of possibilities. Faith comes according to scripture by hearing the hearing that brings understanding the more you open up yourself now respectfully speaking let us be careful the way we open up ourselves unnecessarily to antichrist information that continue to dampen our faith whether it's the wrong use of social media you can sit down there and absorb all kinds of rubbish at the end of it your faith has deflated like the tire of a car and you now want to use it to command victories in the kingdom it doesn't work that way 
or you surround yourself with negative people who continue to say all kinds of things you leave the church with a prophetic word from your man of god and by the time you return you are already speaking like you are not saved no i guard my environment very jealously because the decisions that come out of my life affect millions of people around the world i have a responsibility to keep an atmosphere that is faith-filled, spirit-filled, and pro-destiny. I am very intentional about my atmosphere. Is someone learning? When Jesus entered to resurrect the little girl, he drove all the people who were laughing to scorn. Get out. There are things and people you need to send out of your life politely but firmly to give your environment the kind of atmosphere for the miraculous. Tomorrow, I have a session in the morning. Sadly, because of time, I know that many of you have come expecting prayers and impartation. Our time is up. But please, I want to encourage you, do not miss tomorrow. Hopefully, I will just give a charge and I'll have the opportunity to pray. Every time God puts an opportunity like this, a platform like this, among the many things that we receive is not only the revelation of the word and the building of our faith. We give the Holy Spirit room to be able to step in and to heal and to deliver. And then for someone to carry a grace that you have so longed and desired. Instructions are wonderful, but sometimes what we need are impartations that just activate our destinies for the next level. We have to pause for now, but I want you to return home prayerfully and determine that in this conference, I'm going to receive something from heaven. And tomorrow morning that you come early, I don't know what time it is tomorrow, let me encourage you. Someone help me. Nine, if I were you, I will come before that time and be praying in the spirit. Don't come and be gisting and eventually you start telling lies and found out you've even sinned against God before the conference. That when you come to an atmosphere like this, you settle down and start praying. Lord, as the word comes, I, I receive the, the ears that hear, the eyes that see, and I expand my vessels for oil to come. Are we together? I declare over your life, standing upon the grace of the man of God, the father and the angel over this house that in the name of jesus the son of the living god every situation that has mocked god in your life brought pain to your life and made many to say you are ichabod in the name of jesus christ let there be a mighty breakthrough for you now let there be a mighty breakthrough for you now i stand in partnership with the prophetic unction that is upon this house for some of you, I literally prophesy over you by this time tomorrow. That tomorrow, by the time you are returning, you will return with strange manifestations of possibilities. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I curse the spirit of unbelief. Every manifestation of unbelief eating up your conviction, marking your life down so that you are not able to make progress because of fear, because of doubt, in the name of Jesus, let unbelief live your life now. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So please do well. Make sure you are here tomorrow. Invite everybody and tell them it's going to be a time of teaching and impartation. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.